Hello, it's me. I was wondering what types of videos you would want to see. And then I'm like, hey, I have a new bookshelf. So let's do another tour. Bookshelf tours are so cool. So enjoy this one. Wow, guys, I'm so sorry if I hurt your ears. But anyways, if you cannot tell, yes, I'm doing a bookshelf tour today. But this one's going to be a little bit different than what I've done in previous years. Because this one's mainly just a filler for what is yet to come this summer when I do a more in-depth bookshelf tour. This is a more organizational video where I show you how I organize my new shelf. But don't worry, you still get to see the books on my shelf. This is just a bit of a different video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Woo! Bookshelf one, my arc shelf. This one over here, let's get started. My arc shelf was not always in my bedroom. A few months ago, I did an arc shelf tour and you got to see my arcs in a separate room on a different bookshelf. But now that I got the chance to get new bookshelves, I decided to move them into my bedroom with the rest of my books. See, my old bookshelf was not very organized, and so for my new bookshelf, I decided to organize it a little bit more better than I did my previous one. So my arc shelf is organized by the dates that these books are going to come out on, starting in 2013 and going all the way down the shelf to my 2015 releases. You can tell what dates these books come out on because on the red tab on the spine of the novel. Moving on to bookshelf number two. Boom. Okay, so this bookshelf is kind of a hot mess. It's all organized in a different way, depending on which books are on what shelf. Okay, so on the tippy top of this shelf, we have my sexy fun time books. And then we have this shelf, which has a whole lot of variety to it that I'll go more into depth in the next clip. So over on the left side, we have my comics and graphic novels that include like Marvel and DC, then goes on to my new adult novels, and then some historical fiction, then finally we get to my Scotland books that I just had to put on my shelf. Next is my mass market paperback bookshelf that has some books that aren't mass market paperbacks, but they just need to be put somewhere, so they're put on that shelf. And then I have some of the Outlander series in mass market paperback form, and some of them are actually first editions, which were so hard to find, but I'm so happy I have them. And then over here, we have my Game of Thrones books. Next on the shelf, we have just series that I really like or just series that have been around on my bookshelf for a while. Some of these series include the Selection series, then Ravel Me series, then you get to Cinder, Scarlet, and Cress, and some other good ones. And this bookshelf that's the one below it is mainly just organized because they're all the same height. They're all hardcovers and they just look really aesthetically pleasing. Then we have one of my few rainbow shelves on this shelf and I really love the way this looks. And then the final shelf on this bookshelf is just mainly paperback books that are all dark colors. Now it's time for bookshelf number three, which is my favorite bookshelf, if I may say so myself, which I can since it's my bookshelf. Woo! Okay, so first we're going to start off at the top, which has a Fallen Kingdom series, which I have still yet to read, but I'm going to be reading it very soon. Then Harry Potter, which I'm currently reading, Divergent. Then we have Under the Never Sky and Through the Ever Night, followed by Ruby Red, Sapphire Blue, and Emerald Green. I really love all these books on the shelf because they look really nice next to each other, and they're also great novels. Some of them I still have yet to read, like I said before, but I'm really excited to be reading them. So right below that shelf is my Outlander shelf, which has a lot of my Outlander books on it, and also my Game of Thrones books to the right side, but mostly my Outlander books, which I love so much since Outlander is my favorite book in the universe. Also, I understand that some books are missing on this bookshelf, that's just because a couple of the books that are on my shelf are still with me at college, so they're not at home in Chicago. Okay, so this is probably my favorite shelf on all my bookshelves, and it's because it contains some of my favorite series I've ever read, and I love every single book on this shelf. They're just so good, so amazing and I highly recommend them. Some of these books include The Fifth Wave, The Queen of the Tearling, Red Queen, An Ember in the Ashes, A Court of Thorns and Roses, The Throne of Glass series, The Wrath of the Dawn, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, and then we have some other goodies like Passenger, Prisoner Nine of Fog, Kiss of Deception, and some more Throne of Glass books. The ones on the right are actually the UK editions. And also I organize these by height because it looks nicer, as you can see. Okay, now we get to some of my bigger, more famous series that are by, like, you know, Rochelle Mead and Cassandra Clare. And as you can see, my Cassandra Clare books are actually all looking really bad because they're all different formats. Because, fun fact, I got all these books in different countries because I was traveling Europe at the time. And each country has a different format about how big the books are and how they're shaped. So they all look really weird, so I'm planning on getting all the hardcovers soon. Just look at how aesthetically pleasing this bookshelf looks. Look at those colors. Look at how beautiful it looks. I'm so proud of this one. Ah, 
it just needs a bookstagram. It's just the way that colored hardcovers look like next to each other that makes me so freaking happy. And then you look at this one and it's also a rainbow, but it does not look nearly as pretty as the hardcovers do. Do we agree? I think we do agree. Oh, look how pretty this bookshelf looks like. It deserves some angelic background music, so. Oh. Okay, and my final bookshelf is my fourth shelf that I also call the Jennifer L. Armentrout shelf since her books take up one full shelf. So I think it's deemed necessary to name it that. <laughs> I wonder if I can climb the bookshelf. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. You broke it. Shit. This out. Why does it go? No, that's why it's a bad idea, guys. Do not book climb your bookshelves. Look at that. Not the best idea, kids. <laughs> don't, don't. I'm not a role model, guys. That's why. Oh god. You're back and you fix it. I fixed it. Yay. It's not broken. But don't do that, kids. This is an exact reason why you should never do that. Well, that was fun to watch back, but not fun when it was actually happening. Anyways, we're moving on to my contemporary shelf, which is on my final bookshelf that I'm showing you guys today. So I am not the biggest contemporary reader, so I do have quite a few contemporary novels, but I don't read a ton of contemporary. So here's my contemporary shelf. I still have a lot to read on it, but I have read quite a few of them that are on that shelf. I just have probably five or six I still need to read that's on it, but those will probably come during the summer when I read more contemporary novels. Summer is just the time that you read contemporaries, let's be honest. At least for me, because when it's winter, I rather read like this really intense fantasy than a lovey-dovey romance. I'm just saying. Summer is lovey-dovey romance time. Yeah, okay, moving on. Okay, so my Jennifer L. Armentrout shelf is full of Jennifer's books. I love her books, I love them so much. I've read every single one of them. They are just so fantastic that I recommend them to everybody, no joke. You know you're a huge fan of hers when you have three different copies of the same series. No shame, no shame at all. Do you guys want to know my biggest book pet peeve? Well, let me tell you if you do not know it already. So when the publisher of a series goes and changes the last book in the series cover so that it does not match the rest of the series. Like, that's not cool. That's not good. They did that with the Lux series and I'm so bitter about it, guys. I'm so salty. Like, why? Why? No. Okay, now that I got that out, we move on to the next shelf, which has just a bunch of different series on it. I really loved all these series. They're fantastic. Some of them I haven't read yet, but a lot of them I have. The only books that I haven't read on the shelf actually are Proxy and Guardian, Miss Peregrine's Home for the Children, wow, that's a hard name, and also Velvet Undercover. Yeah, so those like three series I haven't read yet, but I plan on reading it very soon. Okay guys, here's another aesthetically pleasing bookshelf for you. They're all mainly hardcovers and look really nice next to each other, so that's really how I picked out how to organize it. Some great series are on the shelf actually. Okay, so this bookshelf mainly consists of my very tall books, and they look nice next to each other, so why not put them there? And then on the right side of it are the very tiny books that just needed a home to go to on the shelf, so they went next to the tall books and looked dwarfed. Oh, and then we get to this bookshelf, which is a mess. Like, this is a mess of a shelf, because they're all like, I don't know, they just don't look very nice next to each other, but they need a place to go, so they went on the bottom shelf of this bookshelf. And I'm gonna find a way to make them look nicer, but this is how they are right now, and they are properly be moved around very soon. Okay guys, so that is my bookshelf tour. I will be doing another one, like I said before, this summer. It'll be way better than this one. This one is mainly just a filler because I know you guys wanted to see my new bookshelf and I wanted to show it to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video, but don't worry, there'll be another more in-depth one coming to you very soon. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time where I don't break my bookshelf. Bye!